All right, here we go. We're still doing the product rule differentiation. I'm calling this product rule three. It's still the same product rule, but I'm saying three because now I'm getting more advanced. So now my function, right, has two expressions and they're both chain rules if I were to derive them. Again, what's the product rule? The first times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first. And in this case, my u is this whole 5x minus 2 to the fourth and this v is 6x squared plus 1 to the fifth. So when I derive, when I say the first, and this is my f prime of x, it's the first. 5x minus 2 to the fourth times the derivative of the second, and the derivative of this is a chain rule. So a bracket. Bring the 5. Keep the base. Subtract 1 from the exponent and multiply by the derivative of the inside. First, times the derivative of the second, which is a chain rule, plus the second, all right, copy it down, times the derivative of the first, which is now another chain rule. Bring the exponent down, keep the base, subtract one from the exponent, and multiply by the derivative of the inside. First, times the derivative of the second, plus the second, times the derivative of the first. Now, when we simplify, we need GCF again. So just to make it a little bit easier on you guys, what I'm gonna do is this next example, this next um, step, I'm gonna keep everything the same. The only thing I'm gonna change is this five and this 12x, I'll multiply them. So five x minus two to the fourth, 5 times 12 is 60x times 6x squared plus 1 to the 4th. And the only other thing I'm going to change here, multiply the 4 and the 5. So 6x squared plus 1 to the 5th. 4 times 5 is 20. 5x minus 2 to minus 2 to the 3rd. Okay? So that's all that I changed. Everything else is the same. I just multiplied the 5 and the 12x, and I multiplied the 4 and the 5. So it's a little bit easier to see your GCF. So work my constants first. This is my first term. This is my second term. What do they have in common? They, well, they both at least have a 20. This one has an x, this doesn't. So I'm only going to take out 20. What else do they have in common? They have this, this whole 5x minus 2. How many do they have in common? Well, this one has four of them. This one has three of them. So I'm going to take out the smallest exponent, 3 of them. They both also have a 6x squared plus 1. This one has 4 of them. This one has 5 of them. So how many do I take out? 4 of them, the smallest exponent. And that's it for my GCF. Right? So they both have a 20. And they both have at least 3 5x minus 2s. And they both have at least 4 of these 6x squared plus 1s. So this is my GCF. What's left? Well, I took 20 from 60. 20 from 60 gives me 3 left with this x. Now, who's left? I took 3 of these 5x minus 2s, and I had 4 of them to begin with. So I need another one of those. I took out 4 of these 6x squared plus 1s, and I had 4 to begin with. So I need no more of those. So that's all that's left from my first expression, my first part. Plus, I took out that 20. I took out three of these 5x minus 2s, and I only had three to begin with, so I don't need any more. I took out four of these 6x squared plus 1s, and I had five to begin with, so I need another one of those, 6x squared plus 1. Boom. So this is my GCF, and this is what's left that I can go ahead and continue to simplify. So it makes this factoring a little bit easier. So now I'm just going to work inside the bracket. So this 20, 5x minus 2 to the third stays, 6x squared plus 1 to the fourth stays, and inside my brackets. I'm going to go ahead and distribute this. 15x squared minus 6x plus this, 
6x squared plus 1. So when I combine like terms, I get a 21x squared minus 6x plus 1. The only thing that, you know, you might change is from brackets to parentheses or maybe move this guy to the front. Doesn't technically matter. It's just a preference because in terms of multiplication, order does not matter. 21x squared minus 6x plus 1. Boom. This is my first derivative. Can you imagine multiplying 5x minus 2 out 4 times, multiplying 6x squared plus 1 out 5 times, multiplying those two products, and then taking a basic derivative and then factoring it to represent it in this form? That is a very long process, which is why I told you there are certain cases where you can't get away from the product rule. This is a situation where you need the product rule and you need to know you need to uh, know thoroughly your GCF so that you can go ahead and simplify your first derivative. Now I'm going to do one example, one more example. This one is going to have an exponential situation. And then for more advanced cases on that, check out my next product rule video, okay? Product rule video number four. But just to introduce this, let's say that I have e to the 5x times 2x plus 1. Okay, this is a function, for example. This is a function. It's a product of two functions. This function is a product of two functions. This would be my u and this would be my v now. Okay? Again, I can't get away from the product rule in this example. I don't have a choice. Because this exponential can't necessarily be put with the 2x or the 1. I'm still always going to have a product of two expressions. So, in order to do this derivative, you need to know or have knowledge of derivatives of exponential functions like this, which if you don't, check out that video, derivative of exponential functions of base e, before we do this example. But, product rule says, First times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first. So following that, it's the first times the derivative of the second, which is just 2, plus the second times the derivative of the first and the derivative of e to the 5x is 5e to the 5x, okay? So this is my u, v prime, v, u prime. Sorry guys, clear that up. First times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first. Simplify. Again, here we go. There's a GCF here. This is my first expression. This is my second, technically. What do they have in common? All they really have in common is this e to the 5x. And when I take that out, I'm left here with a 2 plus, this is a 5 times 2x plus 1. This is a case where I would probably use um, brackets instead of double parentheses. That's what I was saying before. But let me go ahead and simplify that more. e to the 5x times, now I'm going to combine all like terms. This is a 10x plus 5. So when I combine, I get a 10x plus 7. Boom. Here's my first derivative. So, again, this is one example of a product rule with an exponential of base e. And if you guys need examples of just derivatives of that, because we need knowledge of derivatives of a situation like this in order to do the product rule here, check out that video. Okay? More advanced examples of these in the next product rule video, okay? Differentiation, product rule four. Comments? Let me know. Help me, Professor J.com or at gmail.com. Contact me. Comment. Like my video. Let me know if it's good, if you need more examples. Um, and I'll see you guys next time.